This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So, Quando Rondo, there was a plan to take him out. Uh, OTF, right? Now, these three men were arrested. Um, it's been uh, it's OTF Day Day, OTF Vani, and OTF Boogie. They've been arrested for the murder the murder of Quando Rondo's friend, Little Pop. Man. And they had a plot to take out Quando Rondo. Now, little Dirk somehow is going to get looped into this. They've been looking into him for a while. OTF, there was a big thing to get little Dirk for a while. Years ago, because OTF was heavy in Atlanta. There was lots of crimes linked to OTF. There was one in like Cumberland Mall bunch of other places where OTF was like robbing people, killing people. And this guy is OTF. He reps OTF. You can't run from it. Then you had King Vaughn. I think it's funny how Chicago's giving him all these keys to the city, but they gave the key to the city Diddy. Maybe the key to the city's not the move, man. <laughs> Cause I just have a feeling that they're gonna try to take him down. <clears throat> You're gonna get we're gonna get Thug back. We're going to get Thug back probably like in a few weeks, maybe next year early, if they work something out here with this mistrial. They'll probably turn it to a plea deal, and uh, they're going to get Dirk. I just have a feeling, man. I'm not trying to wish bad upon them. It's just when you do dumb stuff and you're linked to it and you rap about it, it could come back to haunt you, man. Uh, Drake says, they pictured me dead. But I was, uh, that was just imagination. One more year upon them. <laughs> Everybody's playing that song now by uh, Busy Signal. Straight out of St. Anne's. I think he's at St. Anne's Bay in Jamaica. Busy Signal. I didn't even know he'd been around for a long time, but I like that song. It's like the new birthday song. It's competing. I'm going to be honest with you. If it got the right push, it would compete with uh, 50 Cent. Go, go, go. I mean, you know, as the new song, you know, because it's, it's a good, it's a good birthday song. Steve Harvey, this guy cannot stop, man. So Cat Williams flamed him, right? Right. Earlier on this year, he did a round table with, um, he did a round table with Cedric the Entertainer, who he hated on most of his career, too. And, uh, uh what's, the other one? what's his name? I, I don't like this guy anymore. That's why I forgot his name. King of Comedy. Donnell H H Don Donald L. Hughley, right? Hughley. Hughley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his first name, though? Kings of Comedy. I love that. Love that it was a VHS when it came out, believe it or not. DL Hughley, yeah. I don't like DL Hughley. I don't think he's funny. I stopped listening to him a long time ago. But Bernie Mac was hated on by Steve Harvey in the movies and everything. Steve Harvey used to try to get his roles. And uh he tries to paint this whole thing. You couldn't you couldn't hate on Bernie Mac. He was a strong man. He would have said something. He was he wasn't for the, the faint. Cedric the Tainer's looking at him the whole time like, dude, the gig is up, bro. You hate on all of us, bro. Like, you just he's, you have the most power. You have all these TV shows, everything. Steve Harvey's just not a good person. He gives people horrible marriage advice when he's on his third or fourth marriage. His wife's cheating on Like, come on, man. I, I like Steve Harvey in some ways. But, you know, when you just hear all this stuff, you're like, damn, this guy's dark behind the scenes man he keeps your his foot on your neck man cat williams man cat williams be speaking the truth man i don't know you know like he doesn't go too far like everything he pretty much said in that interview was kind of true i don't know if he reads 20 million books like he said but you know he's he's like i'm a speed reader i could read 20 books a day what was something like that i believe he's a speed reader i don't know if he's reading 20 books a day sure he reads some people are very talented like that where they can read every other word and then get through a book in a day 
I don't know if you're, how much knowledge you're absor- uh, absorbing. I'm not the biggest reader myself, so I can't really say anything, you know, but I don't know. Mariah, the scientist, shares that she once dated Little Yachty and wrote two songs for him and gave them to him on an iPod, and he said he wouldn't listen to them because he didn't want to clown her. This is the girl that's dating Young Thug now. Uh-uh. And this is all from spilling tea from Carisha, Young Miami, who's in the know. So this isn't like common knowledge. She's just spilling information she already knows. Sp- okay, so there's this character AI, and it, this kid was dating an AI bot. This is sad. This happens in Japan a lot, too. The, 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 not to this extreme, but people were dating chatbots. They say it's cheaper than a relationship. He'll go on vacation with a chatbot, too. So this kid was into that. He was, um, and it's sad. He was um, dating this chatbot, and the chatbot encouraged him to take his life. That is, that's really sad, man. You know, I know his mom's heartbroken. I think the chatbot had said, like, this is the only way we can be together or something. I don't know, man. It's it's depressing where, you know, technology is good and it's really bad at the same time, man. You know, it's going to take a lot of people's jobs. It's probably eventually going to end up working against us. It already kind of is. And... We can't stop it, man. This is how we're going to... Like, go watch Terminator 2 again. (laughs) That's what's going to happen, man. I'm telling you. Um, Nicki Minaj says, Happy birthday, Drizzy. You're loved and appreciated. He didn't have his back during the Kendrick beef. We, We all love you, Nicki, but let's be honest, okay? He had your back during the Remy beef. He was in that video. Cardi B hospitalized, and she's have going through the thing with Offset. I think WAC 100 reacts to this thing. I mean, you know, I know you guys don't like it when I do that, but let's see what he has to say. He always tries to, <laughs> it's kind of funny in a way, how he tries to chime in on this. Like, yo, this is what's really going on, guys. It's crazy. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, WAC 100, let's see. He said, bro, I wish the worst on this man. I never hated somebody so Now she tweeted that out Much and he's be so thirsty To have him please take this man off my hands This garbage bag Is heavy so now let me break this shit down Bro I wish the worst On this man That could be one of his children dying Ain't you his baby mom That could be him Losing an arm A leg Paralyzed ain't that your kid yeah, that's your kid's right. daddy. And when you say you wish the worst on a man, like, like, are you really thinking about what you're saying? Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. Yeah, that's oh, crazy. Just be getting mad and say anything. And she put that shit on the thing. And at that point, as a man, he can't live with her in life. Can't trust her. She said, bro, I would. I don't blame her, to be honest with you. She only wanted a family. He wanted to get married. She did that. They had kids together. Thought he thought he had changed. Meanwhile, he's cheating on her the whole time. Betrayal's crazy, man. Look at it as someone, like, snitching on you, man. Betrayal is the worst. Because now she has a... Her life will permanently be changed from this. I don't care how you want to look at it. Maybe you're in a situation where you have kids and you split up with the baby mom and she's horrible. But I'm just saying, maybe it wasn't your fault though, right? In this case, it's Offset's fault. Okay? That's all I'm saying. You know? Everybody's situation is different. I'm just saying this... And, you know, she's speaking crazy, but she's allowed to. 
you know, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm one to say what's wrong with Cardi right away if she says something or any other rapper. But in this case, I feel for her, man. You know, that's we all hate betrayal. I really hate betrayal. I value loyalty. Anyways, man, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. Sorry for, I had to take a break from the internet for a few hours. I'm back. Too much going on with this. This election is crazy. Crazy, bro. Crazy. <laughs> like, nonstop on the timeline. Nonstop. <laughs> it's crazy. Jordan, Jordan, Tower, Tower. New, 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 new.